certain direction, you're completely, totally wrong. You are wrong in your thinking. You're thinking in the wrong direction. Wrong direction is deception. Satan deceived you and take you on a wrong road and influence your whole viewpoint. And you start to live that viewpoint and you start to share that viewpoint with others. And you take many around you in believing in your viewpoint. This is so dangerous. It is very important for you to have the mind of Christ. Give him hand. <clears throat> Now, I could have prayed for that person another time. And I was, I, I was again, you do, we do not always understand the ways of God. And even from this morning, I can teach you. I was almost late for the service and praying for one man. And I thought, and I was frustrated with myself when I look at the time. So, why am I praying for this guy now? I could have prayed for him during the week. Coming into the service and seeing what the Lord wants me to say to you. I rejoice now because God wanted to teach me something from that man's life. He is so set in his ways and so believed that his thinking is the right direction. But he is totally deceived. If someone does not help him, now somewhere I will speak to him. If someone does not speak into his life, he will go into the right, wrong direction and the end of his life he will find that he was deceived his whole life. It can be so with you too, and me too, if we do not get maybe a Samuel or something to speak into your life. Maybe there's one speaking in your life. You look down and you think, oh, what does he know? Like Samuel was a small boy. He was a small boy. Who is he? What does he know? When God speaks, he can use even a donkey. He can use a young boy. He can use anyone that people look down on. He can use clever people. He can use foolish people. He can use people of, of not of high intelligence. He can use anyone. He can use a donkey. This prophet Billiam also thought that he was 100% correct. This, these other kings paid him to curse Islam. And he made himself available. That was the sin that God was angry at him with. Because he was now making himself available to be used and paid by wicked kings to curse the nation of Israel. He made himself available. That by itself is a severe sin. He made himself available to be used by the devil, used by the enemy. Just making himself available. God could not get in his head that he's on the wrong. And then he moved from one place, he could not curse Israel. He moved to another one, he could not curse Israel. He moved to another position, he could not curse Israel. And then he wanted to go to another position, and he was going on his donkey, and his donkey would not move. And he got off his donkey, and he was hitting the donkey, this foolish prophet, was hitting the donkey because the donkey does not want to go on. And after a while, the donkey turned around and spoke to him and said to him, Why are you hitting me like this? Can't you see? And then God opened his eyes. The donkey actually, actually saved his life because a huge angel was standing ready with a sword to destroy the foolish prophet because he was moving in the wrong direction. God used the donkey to save Billiam's life. Now, Billiam was a prophet of God, but he made himself available to be used of the enemy. How many Christians and how many prophets and how many preachers today make themselves available for the enemy, thinking they are doing the right thing? Say to the guy next to you, never make yourself available. To be used of Satan or the enemy. Now, Satan will not come to you and say, I want to use you directly. He will come in other ways. He will use you against the friends of God. 
the donkey turned around and said, can't you see? I mean, the prophet was supposed to see far better than any donkey can. But here the donkey could see better than a prophet and turned around to the foolish prophet. Now the Bible does not say he was a false prophet. He was a prophet, but he was deceived. He was in the wrong direction. He was walking in the wrong direction. And that eventually made him a false prophet. But he did not start off as a false prophet. Hallelujah. I said to the guy next to you, be careful. Maybe your dog will speak to you. If you're in the wrong direction, God will use many things that is foolish in your eyes to speak into your life, to correct you, and to save your life because of his love for you. Amen. Amen. Everything that you do, make sure whatever you do, you do that to the glory of, the God, of God. Whether you're in business, whether you work for a salary, whether you work for government, whether you're in politics, whether you're on the sports field, make sure that you are not earthly minded. Amen. Say earthly minded. Make sure you are not earthly minded. Because if you're earthly minded, you do it for wrong reasons for fleshly reasons everything you do you should to consider is this for heavenly purposes and his kingdom's advantage to further his kingdom or is that this to glorify my own name or to bring honor to myself what is the reason for me doing these things that i do if it is not to further the kingdom it is useless if you become the boxing champion of the world, like Rocky Mashiano or any other person, and you do not do that to further in your heart, uh, to further the kingdom of heaven, you will not get your reward from, him, from God. It is useless. It is a waste of energy and a waste of time. It is useless. If you run in politics and you're in politics, and you are not there to further the kingdom. I speak now, but there's many unbelievers doing their thing. There's enough unbelievers in sport. There's enough unbelievers in politics. But you are a child of God. Where are you? You are there to influence those people. Of you in an area, in politics, in sports, in a career, wherever you are. If you are not there to further the kingdom of heaven, you are wasting your time. Because there's a calling on your life. Every Christian carries a calling. 